The Stockholm School of Economics is a private business school located in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. SSC has been creating opportunities for its graduates for over 100 years. Welcome to episode 4, Sports. Hello friends of SSC. My name is Isabel and I have been the president of the Sports Committee 2021. I was thinking a bit about sports and I wanted to show you, the viewers, how we represent sport at SSC. My name is Alexander Fioretos and I'm originally from Lund, Sweden. I signed my first professional football contract at the age of 16 in Helsingborg CF, at that time the Swedish champions. After that I played professionally in Greece, Denmark and Romania. I have experienced a lot of positive things like playing on big stadiums in front of a lot of spectators and against national team players, but also difficult things such as the refugee crisis in Greece and other inequalities in Romania. I'm really happy and proud over my career and now really excited to have started my studies here at Stockholm School of Economics. Okay Alexander, now I want you to show your skills and do 10 push-ups while I'm telling my story. Okay, so similar to Alexander, I also have a background in playing football. So I am from a small town in the northern part of Sweden and played in a team called Sundsvall for about 10 years. Uh, we played in the second highest division in Sweden. And after I injured my knee at the age of 20, I chose to be a football coach instead. So the previous years I have been coaching in AIK's academy and at the football gymnasium here in Stockholm. Like I'm on my tiptoes, baby, you think a little too small I got big goals, baby, hey, where the money? Yeah, look, I just need the info, pronto I go and get it and split it with my kids. Isabel, tell me about your future plans after Stockholm School of Economics. So after I graduate, uh, I have a dream of uh, working on FIFA or UEFA because being a woman in a world, a uh, football world full of men, I have seen the inequalities there are and I have also experienced some uh, difficulties during my years, both a player and a coach. So I really want to work on those uh, like uh, long-term strategic matters, how we can improve the world of football. Okay, Alexander, so tell us about your plans. That is, of course, the $10,000 question. It's really hard to answer, but I've seen people having it really good with a lot of money, and I've seen people struggling a lot in the refugee crisis, for example. So I want to somehow use my experience from my football career together with the great education I get at Stockholm School of Economics to somewhat change the world. Hello guys and welcome to the Sports Committee Room. Uh, this is the home of all sports enthusiasts at the school and I, my name is Malvin and I'm the president of the sports committee. Uh, here we offer 10 different sports for weekly practices for the students where you can come and enjoy, talk to friends and just have fun. Uh, you don't have to have any previous experience and it's all just to hang out and meet new people. Every year we attend uh, different tournaments, both uh, nationally and internationally. Uh, one of the tournaments we go to is the Koblenz tournament in Germany. I attended last year and it was so much fun. Not so much sleep though, but a lot of fun. You get to meet new people, uh, you play a lot of sports, it's, it's very intense. But at, at the end of the week it's just good memories and a lot of fun. In addition to the tournaments, we also attend different trips. Uh, among the trips, it's a, it's a ski trip, it's a surf trip, and the possibilities are endless, so you decide where to go, basically. And it's just, as usual, a lot of fun meeting new people and uh, collecting new memories. So this year we all have also launched a new initiative at school. Uh, it's a collaboration between us, the sports committee, uh, the social committee and the education committee where we offer the students and the members uh, opportunities to talk so to psychologists to further enhance the uh, health at the school. So 
So lastly, uh, we also offer a more professional part of the sport uh, through a sports and business week that we have every year, where we bring guest speakers to talk about the professional uh, careers within sports, etc. etc. Et uh, so I hope you got some more insights from this into what we at the EDU uh, are doing, and I hope to see you getting involved soon. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you have learned a lot about the representation of sports at SSE. Make sure to leave a comment below on what you thought about this episode. And until next time, bye bye. bye. bye.